Yeah. Basically, as soon as we're done, we'll just we'll pack up and go. Yeah. So, alright, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome back to Scrapcast, episode and, dose. But this is for the E3 version. Yeah. So, last time we talked about the uh, developers, Ubisoft, uh, EA, Ubisoft, EA, and Bethesda. Mm -hmm. And so now we're going to talk about the big, big, the big wigs, the Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. So we're going to start off with the one we care eh, about, and that is Microsoft. Oh, I thought you were going to say the most. I oh, know. <laughs> So, man, aren't you happy that the Scorpio's coming out? Oh, oh, dude, to hear it's not called the Scorpio. I'm sorry, what? It's called the Xbox One X. Oh, hey, a gun. <laughs> <coughs> but people will say that, like, oh, it comes full circle, because if you just do X, Bach, I don't know how they do it. Like, they're like, oh, if you, like, it's coming full circle, like, if you just hyphenate it, it just spells Xbox. And it's like, no, that's so stupid. <laughs> Nobody's going to do that. Um, it's going to be the Xbox One X. So here's the thing. They're touting the Xbox One X as... Oh, people have already been calling it the Xbox One X. Um, they're saying like it's the strongest uh, 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 console to date. And it is absolutely like it can do just about anything. It can uh, cure cancer, give you a blowjob. <laughs> The only thing, though, is Make that... Make a good Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though. They have towed in it as, like, a brand new system, and surprise, surprise, it's not. It's essentially what PS4 Pro is to the PS4. Yeah. It's just, it's just updated a, specs. Yeah. That's all it is. But they're towing it like it is literally the word of God. Yeah. Because well, it is. Uh, it's... I'm not... I could care less. Like I was actually considering for a while because I'm like on the ropes now because I don't have a new system, mm -hmm. but I now have money and I'm going to get one. And I was like, maybe I should get this new Scorpio that's coming out because it looks like it could be interesting. Then they call it the X Bone X, and I'm just I'm done. I don't want it. I had a friend who was like, Hey, do you want to buy my Xbox One? Because I ha I got another one from a contest. It's like, do you want it? It was like, well, do you play your new Xbox? And I was like, no, I mainly play on my PS4. Then why in the world would I want an Xbox One? He's like, yeah, fair way. enough. So, yeah. Is he still selling that? Because I might buy it. <laughs> Just to throw new door stuff. I, I, I will let him know if someone's interested. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of... It's 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 there. It's nothing super fancy or crazy. It's just it's just like you said, it's pro. Uh, the only thing that is interesting to me is that not only that it could it, it, it is it possible like that it's the strongest console in the world. Yeah, but they need to not tote it as a brand new console. Yeah. Because it's not. It's just an upgraded version. If it was a brand new console, you would have just called it the Microsoft because, Scorpio. Because he's the thing that, because, like, they're not making, like, a new set of games specifically for this system. The Xbox One will still be able to run it. Yeah. So uh, it's, yeah, so it's like, it's... So if you have an Xbox One, any new game that comes out, you can still play it on the Xbox One. The Xbox One X will just run it a little faster. And it'll handle, you know, 4K better. Yes. And then the Microsoft, they also announced, um, they showed our gameplay footage of Anthem, which is being developed that by looks interesting. Fire. It's from the people, okay, so here's my thing. It's made from the, from the people who made Destiny. Yeah. And it looks oh, very You can Destiny. tell that. Like, you have, like, you have two separate abilities, and then you hit both to do, like, a super... So it's like... What, what is Anthem that? is basically set in another world, or another planet. Basically, you are pilots who use, um, who pilot lancers. More or less Iron Man suits. Mm -hmm. 
but they have like the reverse legs. I mean, you can have the some of them can do super lightweight ones that like seem to like teleport out of thin air. Jeez. Then you have the medium ones, and then you have the heavy ones, like with like <laughs> missile salvos on their back. It, um, so I'm actually kind of interested. Me too, but because it's Bethesda, and it remind, not Bethesda, but because it's Bioware, and it reminds me so much of Destiny, I am nervous about it. But we'll see how it goes. But if it is actually an open world game, like they it, say it is. If it is, then I will, I'm 100% Because that's it. what everybody wanted Destiny, Destiny. to be. And it, it was. And it looks like, by the way, real quick, Destiny 2 is not that. Like, Destiny yeah, 2 it's, is it's just... just going to be another... Another destiny. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then they sold off Assassin's Creed, which was. I just. Yeah. I'm not really interested in uh, A new PC MMO coming, which is called Black Desert. It's coming to Xbox One. <laughs> oh, it's coming to Xbox One because it's been out. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a MMO. I, yeah, I have no idea what it does. It is a really in depth character creator, is all I know. Oh, they announced uh, Crackdown 3. With Terry Crews, oh, I was God. like, God, is he actually in the up. game or just in the uh, ad? No, he, it was it was the ad like, it, okay. like you just need to see it. But it's it's. I, I saw like the ad pop up and I'm like, what? It's Terry Crews being Terry Crews, and it's like hands off, good job. Like I like I would play this for Terry Crews. Oh yeah. Um, so that looks interesting. So there's that. Um, Dragon Ball Z Fighter, which actually looks good. It's a 2D fighter. Really? Not the feed. No. Yeah. So it's like mm. Street Fighter, but like everything's 3D, so like when they shoot bowls, when they shoot the energy bones, mm -hmm. and you have to kind of like swat it away, it goes off in the distance, the background's exploding, mm -hmm. uh, it's still 2D, yeah. it's 3D, loves, but the fighting style is 2D like right. Street Fighter. Someone who loves mm -hmm. fighting games, Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Justice 2, when they announced that, I was actually pretty happy. Now here's the other thing, um, a lot of the games they announced for the console, for the Xbox One X, were either console exclusive or launch exclusive. Right. And the console exclusive is just what it sound like. It's just for Xbox One X. Yeah. But launch exclusives were basically ain't were. They're coming to the they're coming Xbox to One the, X, the, but the, after a while. It'll come to the other, to PS4 yeah. or Switch or whatever. It's a it's delayed release. So it's one game that was announced as extended, as a, no, um, basically a delayed launch for other consoles, is the one game that got <laughs> Zach all hyped up, and that was the new Metro. <laughs> oh my oh. god, fucking yes! So Okay, that was what... The deciding thing for the Expo Next was now. I'm now that you remind me, because we watched the trailer. I lost my shit. He literally did like all over. We the were place. like just sitting. We were just sitting talking. Okay. And I'm like, the, my boy. I, I was just like, I was just literally just like, oh look, Microsoft announces uh, a new Metro game, Metro Redux, yeah. and we were just like, no. How it went was you were talking about E3, yeah. and I said. I honestly have no interest in E3. There's yeah. nothing coming up. New Metro game. What? <laughs> I we watched the trailer together. The literally. And he, we watched the trailer together. And yeah, it looks amazing. Takes off his mask. There's a bear. Uh, which, by the way, it, which, which, by the way, is the exact same bear from Metro 2. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's possibly open world. But the deciding factor uh, was... Um, it only said Xbox in the trailer. Yes. I was like, okay, I'm going to have to buy an Xbox. But uh, I went to their website and looked at it, and yes, it is a delayed release. Or delayed exclusive. Yeah. So it would be Xbox One first, and then it'll eventually come to the PS4. Yeah. And if they say that it's, you know, uh, VR, then I'm just going to just, just quit my job, live in my house for the rest of my life, which will be like three months. <laughs> Until he runs out of food and mortar. Yeah. So that was, um, what else? And they also announced Forza Motorsport. 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 Yes, which, admittedly, it looks super good. Like, it, it's pretty. It is yeah. damn pretty. If you're into super realistic um, cars, Forza oh, is usually the way to go. They announced a new Oi and the Blind Forest sequel. Really? Yes. Really? And instead, you like another spirit, but you're following an owl instead. Well, that's so, there were tears. 
there were tears, and it's like super looks, it's super pretty, but looks super sad, and it's like, okay. Yeah. Um, there was The Last Night and The Awful Escape. Which are two indie games that I have never played or tried, but they're it's coming out for the Xbox One X. Um, oh, and there's also oh Cuphead finally got a release date. What's uh, it called? Cuphead. <laughs> Every time someone mentions Cuphead, I'm just, that game's never coming out. October. They say that it won't. Well, it will see. It's that game that looks like old time cartoons. Mm -hmm. Like think original um, like, Mickey Mouse, like Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Right. It's based off that. But the animation is spot on. It's for those so it's, it's amazing. With what they're setting out to do, it's amazing looking. But the game's never going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> they say it, it won't. Um, oh, and then Life is Strange Before the Storm. Yeah. Really? It's the prequel. Before the storm hits. Did we already play that? With... No, it's like before that. Like, so which, it's just gonna um, be her as a teenager. Kind of. I, I, yeah, I think it's focused more on like uh, the friend Rachel and the girl that was oh, missing. Oh, missing. Okay. So we're focusing on that. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Um. As your best friend, by the way, I have no clue what the fuck you're going. And of course, um, the um, Player Unknown's um, Battleground is coming, but it's basically like a PC version of the Hunger Games. Yeah. Um, that's coming to Xbox One. I don't know if that's exclusive or not. So. Uh, never heard. Uh, but one thing that really caught my interest is Microsoft. Uh, really? Has, uh, Minecraft. Cross-platform. I did hear about Wait, what? So. If you have an X, so I have a Switch, Cody has a smartphone, you're on the PS4, we could still all play Minecraft together. That's With the Switch like be weird. and the... Yeah, so it's... You'll be able to all play together, regardless of what platform you're on. Huh. So, that seems super interesting to me. Like, I feel like that's cool, I, but at the same time, a lot could go wrong. Well, my thing is, like, okay, it's Minecraft. It's... It's been here, we know it, it's not going away anytime soon, but like the fact that it's going to be that connected, it's like, As okay, we say as we play Minecraft. That's you, the one that plays Minecraft. You love it too, shut up. Uh, oh, and of course, State of the Gate 2. That I'm really what? interested in. Which unfortunately is the is an Xbox exclusive. Oh. Day of the what? Day of, State of the Gate 2. Oh, remember that game I tried yeah, to show you all? No, I remember that. What a good game. I just remember, the only thing I remember about that game is you driving by a zombie and just sticking the door. <laughs> you stick the door out. I remember the feral hunt that one time. Fuck those guys. But it's also all multiplayer. It's all multiplayer? Like you could have multiple people. Like it's online almost. But it's not online only. No. Okay. As far as I know. So that was the Microsoft one, which I think Microsoft did a pretty good job. Microchant. Uh, outside the Xbox One, a lot of the things they announced looked really, really neat and really fun, and it was like, okay, like I can, I can get behind this. So, and then next is um, another a good friend of ours, Sony. I love Sony. Now, my only issue with this press conference is with Sony was that the uh, CEO came out and was like. We know you're here for the games, so we're just gonna sit back and let the games talk, talk for themselves. <laughs> but there was only two games that made me lose my mind. Oh, I'll get you back in total. <laughs> there was only two games that made people like lose my, like lose their mind. Outside of that, it was like the games they announced were either games you already knew about or weren't that strong. So it's like. Yeah, it's kind of like I don't know. <sighs> and you, let's just talk about the games. So they showed about World War Two for Call of Duty. Yeah, and, yeah I still don't care. I'm kind of happy they're going back to it. There's gonna be. But a it's not just mode. gonna be another. Gonna you be know, it's modern warfare. Still don't care. Again. Oh, I still don't care. Now it's future. They With showed robots up. again. Jet boots. Are you done? No. Uh, they showed off the uh, Last of Us clone, Days Gone. Uh, I, 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 
don't want to call it that because I'm actually kind of excited about it. The only thing that it's good about it is the fact that um, it has the liquid zombie horror. Yes, which is super that cool. Is creepy as hell. But outside of that, it's kind of like the one thing I liked about World War Z. Yeah, World War Z should have been called that movie, by the way. No, yeah. it's getting a sequel. So uh, they sold off Destiny Two. But all they did was show off some story stuff and announced that there's going to be PlayStation exclusive stuff for Destiny. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. So it's like, uh, new... Was it, like, cross plat or not cross platform uh, multi-console? No. Or was it exclusive? It was not. It was exclusive to PS4, I believe. No, no, no. It was on multiple consoles. Oh, was it? But they, PlayStation had exclusive maps, um, dungeons, and, uh, uh, missions, and guns, specifically for the PS4. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, they sort of Detroit. Oh God. David Cage's new thing. masterpiece. Um, they sort of some more about God of War. That's yes. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dad of War. Oh God. <laughs> um, yeah, it's super neat because in the trailer they announce they say how like okay the gods know. Like these, like you killed all your guards. These guards know what you've done, and they don't like you here. And it's like the Norse gods. Hmm. So it's, it looks super interesting, and it looks like they're taking a uh, uh, like a note from The Last of Us, because the sun will actually be there helping you. Hmm. But it doesn't look like there's going to be a uh, oh, what is it like a like, you constantly, it's not gonna be like Resident Evil. It's not gonna be like a Resident Evil where Resident Evil falls. It's like you constantly have to save him. Yeah. He can fend for himself because he's the son of Kratos. But yeah. it's just a matter of getting there. So that was pretty cool. Um, uh, a new DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, none of us have really played it, but it's, um... What is Horizon Zero? Oh, that's that the game! The, okay, yeah. <laughs> the super pretty robot yeah. dinosaur one. The game oh, that does yeah. robots very well. Oh, it does. It's super pretty. I've watched one of my friends play it. It's super good, but it's... I've never had a chance to play it. I have a list of games I need to play. Not to mention, uh, Elite Dangerous comes out Tuesday. So it's yeah. like, I was about to say, you have more games in your library than you haven't played with those that you have. Oh, and they also showed uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which does not look good. It does Doesn't. not look. It does not look good at all. Are you sure? You need to see the trailers. Like everything looks. I saw screenshots of it. It actually looks pretty. It looks janky. Like it's. You're janky. It's just like the face. Like some of the face animations. Like especially for, like Chun Li. It's just like. It's terrifying. The only neat thing was that that um. There was a demo you could download, a story mode demo. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's like it's I don't know. It doesn't look that great to me. Like I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of fighting games to begin with. But it doesn't. It's like when I say it doesn't look good, I just mean like graphic wise, it's like eh. But I don't know. See, and um, so we're gonna get to one of the big wigs now. Uh, Monster Hunter World. Oh boy! There is currently a 20-minute live gameplay demo. Um, quick shout out to Gaijin Hunter. Uh, he has a 20-minute video of him, and he also translates the video because uh, in Japan they had a 20-minute uh, live demo of oh, the game. That's cool. So if you go to Gaijin Hunter, uh, he has that video, and a so, much better channel than ours. Yes. So give that a watch. Um, Who's Gaijin Hunter? Gaijin Hunter. He is a uh, Monster Hunter. But he does everything. Yeah, he does everything. Monster Hunter. Okay. 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 I know what I was messing up with. Every time I hear Gaijin Hunter, I think of Gaijin Goomba. Oh. Don't look at Gaijin Goomba. He's but, okay. Uh, no. So yeah, this count. This came out of left field, and it's uh, basically supposed to be completely open world. Like there's no loading Mold. between areas. It's not exclusive to uh, Nintendo, Nintendo consoles. Yeah, it's on yeah. PS4. It's coming it's back. Huge. Come back. Uh, drop in, drop out, play with players. Really? So if you're in trouble, you can have a one-time flare you can launch, and players can be like, "Oh, this person needs help. Do you want to help them? Yes or no?" And then you'll fly in and start helping out. Uh, so for the only weapons that have been shown have been the great sword and the short bow. Oh, the, not the short bow. Just the bow. 
Bogo. No, no, not the Bogo. Yes, the light Bogo. That's the only thing that's been shown. Um, but like the gameplay and the mechanics, it's like it's because it's open world, they're changing the formula a lot. But it still looks interesting. I'm actually kind of interested in it. I've always I really, liked Rocket Heart. I hope that they're not going to like westernize it since it's back on other consoles. Yeah. Um, oh, the other thing they showed was um, this was at the end, so we're kind of skipping a little bit. Sorry, but uh, I'm going by like things that I'm trying to go by memory. But um, uh, Spider-Man, the actual Spider-Man game, was good. shown at the end of the press conference. I that was seen anything about it. It looks pretty fun. I'm not, in my way. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I would devote time to play it, but it looks it looks, it looks nice. It, it looks nice. It, it looks pretty solid. Uh, it was a good ten minutes, I think, of gameplay. Um, but it, it, it looks pretty good. It's very fluid. Uh, it's I, th I believe it's been confirmed that you play as the. Um, Miles Spider-Man. Oh, Miles Morales. Yes. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, yes, I find that very interesting. But I could have sworn in the trailer, he was saying, he, you know how sometimes Spider-Man talks to himself? Yeah. Uh, he was like, I sound like he said, you know, come on, stay focused, Peter. Nice. Uh, <sighs> so, I'm not 100% sure if, it, if that's true or not, but... I really hope it is. I, I hope it is, but I can see that they, like, wouldn't. Yeah. Miles Morales isn't really a known Spider-Man. Unless you're, like, into the comics and you play all, the, or, or read all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, like, if you were to ask, like, a moviegoer, hey, do you know about Miles Morales? Uh, uh, who? Who? What? Um, oh, uh, they also, um... But it's weird, because then they also incorporated, like, some stuff from the Miles Morales universe in the newer Spider-Man movie. Yeah. So it's interesting to see, but either way, um, oh, they also announced Skyrim VR. Season. Yep. There's that. Moving on, uh, a new Uncharted game focusing um, Never really solely on uh, Chloe. Hmm. So which was one of the um, she came up in the third one, I think. Uh, and she's basically been a mainstay. I forget what the uh, voice actress' name is, but she played. Not Tara Strong. Is it? No, no, no. Okay. It's, oh, God no. She. Uh, she was one of the uh, main characters in Farscape. I cannot. Claudia Black. Yes. She played. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was her. She played. Uh, she played Aaron Soon. Yeah, and she's played. Um, Clo uh, she's playing the main chick in this one. Hmm. So. Oh my God, how do I still? It's focused on oh, freaking. <laughs> Yeah, um, they announced a bunch of VR games, which I was kind of like, no one gives two shits about. I well, I'm interested. It's like, it's no, I don't. But when, but you know why I was giving VR? Because we're getting to the part of meat, the meat of it all, tender juiciness. <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus no. fucking remake. What? Okay. I slid off my chair and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to sit up, but uh, yeah, they're doing a Shadow of the Colossus remake. Yeah, that sounds and real shut. fucking good. Oh my gosh, it looks that so really good. Sounds really good on a freaking recording. Good. Let it sound good. We can make it sound good. No, we can't. Yes, we can. We can try. <laughs> we don't edit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're doing a Shadow of the Colossus remake. It looks super good in 2018. It's been announced. So that's good. And then one last thing, uh, Nintendo. Does anyone know anything about Nintendo outside of what I've? I hear it's a Japanese company that makes playing cards. Okay. Playing cards. <sighs> That's how Nintendo started out. Yeah, I know. But they still do trading cards, you know, right? Do they? <laughs> yeah, because they have like Amiibo, like uh, not Amiibo, but um, what is it? Uh. What's the game? Um, you're the mayor of a town. Um, oh God damn it! Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. They have Animal Crossing like trading cards. And, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for the game. Yeah, because there was the Happy Home Inventor, which is basically like the instead of being the mayor, you are basically like the house designer, and they're like, I want a house like this, and yeah, you can use cards to get special objects and items and stuff. So. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so Nintendo, Nintendo stopped doing press conferences at E3. They just yeah, do live videos. 
Uh, so one of the things they showed was a huge, like, video of, based on, um, oh, for Mario Odyssey. They announced a, a new Yoshi game. I'm, I'm so glad that they're bringing apart this, like, new ability where, like, Mario can take on aspects of, like, enemies and people. Uh, it's no, so that, innovative. No, he straight up possesses them. I know, but I mean, it's, 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 it's new. Well, that's the thing with the hat, right? Yeah. Because the hat is like a ghost that is attached to him, so he possesses the ghosts. That's just yeah. Weird. He can possess a T Rex, so. Why is there a T Rex in Mario? I, st I still don't like. Time travel. I still don't like the fact that there's normal people. Yeah, that is weird. Cause you can possess them too. Okay. It's like yeah, it's exactly how it sounds. Uh, a new Kirby game is coming to the Switch. That's. Um, that, that that's ripping off the new Mario game because like, he steals power. Stop. People. So if Kirby has a Mario hat, he ate Mario. If Kirby yeah, has a mustache, he's possessed by Mario. Yeah, that's, that's all the same picture. Um, they also announced uh, that they are making a standalone. <laughs> okay. okay. They are making a standalone Pokemon RPG for the Switch. Really? Yes, but people are kind of like. Is it gonna be an actual RPG or is it gonna be like a mystery dungeon? Oh no. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of up in the air right now, but there's that. Um, uh, that Pokemon fighting game. Oh, Pokemon Tournament? Yes, that's also coming to the Switch. I didn't know that. that uh, I didn't realize it did well enough yeah. to, you know, warrant a port. Yeah, so that's coming. And then, is it like the same one, or is it a second one? No, it's a new one. Brand new one, but it, no, it's the same one, but they added new characters. Gotcha. So you have like some for the new Pokemon, Sun and Moon. Um, and none of them will be fighting types. Nope. No, because the owl is, the, is one of them. Halucha? No, not Halucha. Oh no, I would love Halucha. If he was in Pokemon Tournament. Uh, no, it is... Um, oh, no, it's no. Stupid Owl with a bow? Yes. Ugh. <laughs> Um, and then, what else? Nice. So they have Poké Tournament, and then, oh yeah, they also announced, uh, Metroid Prime 4. Man, I, nobody wanted this. Why? Everyone wanted it. Why? Fuck you, everyone wanted it. It's like playing off of nostalgia it. now. It's, it's, nobody wanted this. Oh my it's god. Like, so I am at full <laughs> mass. <laughs> I am so ready for this game. Oh my gosh, like, it's been... That's kind of been the big thing. Like, all they did was just show a number four, and people lost their shit. So, but yes, Metroid is, Metroid is coming. Yeah, and then next year it'll be Half-Life 3. It'll never happen. Right now it's a race between what comes out for us. Uh, Half-Life 3 or Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh but at least with Kingdom Hearts 3, we've seen stuff from the game. Um, what was I going to say? And then, while it was a part of the press conference, they also did announce they're doing a Metroid, a remake of Metroid 2 for the 3DS. Really? Yes. And they're adding a bunch of, like, abilities and content and all that jazz. Cool. So, Metroid gets two games. And I'm Gee, super Metroid happy. Two games. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, we're still waiting for, like... Oh, we're still waiting for Street Fighter V to be relevant. Oh, wow. That hurts. Cody said that, not me. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but that came... <clears throat> and, and the other thing that I had issue with in Nintendo was that um, they uh, did three... Like, they had three days of, like, we're going to be doing live stuff, live coverage. And it was basically... The first one was the actual announcement of Metroid and all the games and everything. Right. The second day was the Pokémon tournament, like an actual tournament they had at E3. Oh, okay, cool. And then the third day was the Splatoon one. Oh, I forgot about that. So, Splatoon. yes, that comes out in July. Hmm. End of July. So, Splatoon 2, excuse me. So, Splatoon. and that was the Nintendo one. the first one, but I was told it was very popular. Oh, it's, it was, they had events of basically equivalent, um, what is it? Like, who do you like more? SpongeBob or Patrick? Do you like... Oh. Pirates Cats and ninjas more. Do you like uh, dessert or like... 
then the end thing was like um like the two like uh, news girls. Uh, it was like, who do you like more? Kali Mari. Yes. Which we will not answer on this show out of you know, respect. Oh no, they are. So yeah. <laughs> there was one with like um, Decepticons versus Autobots. And I know people got in the head because they wanted to keep those shirts. Yes, because you because you got special stuff for a while. Um, cool. Yeah, so it, it was a very popular game because um, it was kind of the first big competitive suit of front Nintendo. Yeah. So it was a it was a pretty big deal Nintendo, and it's their first original IP in like how long? A long while. <laughs> it's been a long while. So uh, yeah. So yeah, that was the those were the press conferences, and um, yeah. all in all, I think Nintendo just by announcing. Metroid Prime, like, was enough to get it going mm-hmm. for them to come out on top. Sony's was like, you don't say you have, you know, we let our games do the talking, but don't announce, like, The Last of Us, don't show The Last of Us 2. Yeah. Uh, like, there's a list of, like, games that they could have shown that they didn't, and it was kind of like, they had David Cage's Bastard Child, and then... It's not a Bastard Child, he knows exactly where it came from. But, so yeah, those were the press conferences all in all. So, were there any games you guys looking forward to that I may have missed or that day? Because they did announce some games outside the press conferences, but those were the big, these were the big ones. The so. here. I didn't see anything about I that. didn't see anything about that. I've games. heard I really good things. They uh, showed gameplay footage. Like <coughs> <coughs> did they announce Bloodborne 2? No. Oh. Dude, you but know um, how many people are waiting for that? I am waiting for that. Someone on uh, Twitter was saying like, uh, I can't remember if I told, like, I pretty sure I told Cody this, but I don't know if I told you, Zach. But someone on Twitter was kind of like, if Bloodborne Two needs to do, if they want to do Bloodborne Two, they need to have it set when the Spanish invade Mexico because um, the Mayans and the Aztecs were all about that blood. Ooh. Yeah, so it's kind of like I would love to see that. Like an Aztec base. Yes. From soft game yes. would actually be fucking amazing. Wouldn't it? That would be terrifying. Told you. You have to fight quite Quetzalcoatl to keep her from devouring the moon. But it's not like, like they made it look like a serpent and a bird because if you if they, no one they had no way of accurately describing what this thing actually looks like. So they're like, it's a snake. You have to protect the moon presence now. Ugh. But yeah, so please. Um, I am actually incredibly interested in a little game that I believe I've told you about several times. Um, a little indie game called Ace Combat 7. Oh god, that got announced. Um, it looks interesting, I mean, and it's, it's about fucking jets, and it's about lasers and fucking jets, <laughs> shooting people and fucking jets, and fucking getting back to the stupid story and fucking jets. Okay, so let's be fair. I may have gone a little too excited and knocked things over when I just sat over the Colossus, but I'm not giving people ghost and sickness. <laughs> okay, after... Ace Combat Assault Horizon, I had completely accepted that the Ace Combat games were dead in the Western world, save for, like, Ace Combat Infinity, which is a computer game. I am so fucking excited. I did that thing where you watch a trailer and just break it down piece by piece. Like, oh... That's a reference. Oh, what's this little picture on the radar screen that is four pixels wide? Oh, it must be this. So, what would you God say? Goddamn if... Belkins. <laughs> so, what would you say if this new Ace Combat that's coming out is just the PC version ported over? What? What do you mean? <laughs> like you said, there's a PC version. The PC game is just like basically all the old games mushed into one. Oh, it's like a new. Game that was Not that I know us. of. By the way, what have you been building? You'll have to find out next time. Because we sc- have to wrap up this scrap cast. So thank you for listening and watching as I do things. And me falling over and psyching me motion sickness. So I hope you enjoyed this wonderful episode of Scrapcast. 
We called it. We called it two, but I'm pretty sure this is like the fifth one. Probably. Fourth one. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. It's, it's been a while. Not even. Man. 